What a thrilling overtime situation there in Las Vegas. It had us on the edge of our seats. The week two matchup that will have the most exhilarating ups and downs will be which game? Okay. So okay. yesterday, sorry. <laughs> yesterday we came in the show and we were all a little hazy eyed because we watched that Monday night game yeah. all night. And then Derek Carr gave it an incredible response to the way the game went like this. Let's take a listen to Derek Carr in the post game press conference after the Raiders beat the Ravens on Monday night. I said after the ESPN after the game, I was like, it feels like my career. It's just <laughs> it's like, yes, crap. <laughs> I was like, gosh, dang. <laughs> um, you know, but you know, we, we won the game, man. You know, and it, it feels so good. So especially to win the first one. Play, playing a team like this, a defense like this, and a, a superstar like Lamar, um, you know it's gonna be a tough fight. I thought the humility hmm. of Carr saying that his career has been like, yes, oh crap. Like, I think it says a lot about him as a guy. He's self aware. He knows what time it is. Raiders at Steelers. Ooh. Steelers, an incredible defensive effort week one against the Bills, where they made the MVP favorite look rudderless. Here comes Carr into Pittsburgh, which is not an easy place to play. Terrible towels, renegade, the whole thing. Derek Carr, let's keep it up here. Let's not do a crap. I Imagine the Raiders win this game and they start off the season with wins over the Ravens and then at Pittsburgh. We will be hyped and so will Raider Nation. Raiders at Steelers. That's the game I cannot wait for. It's a good Sunday. That's a good one. Right? Hey, and I, hey, I like the little touch at hey, the top. Trying now. to get one more follow. I like right. it. Gotta I get like to a million. It. <laughs> but I disagree. Okay. Okay. Um, the game I think that is gonna be more of a roller coaster game is without a doubt the Titans and the Seahawks. Get into it. And the reason why I say that, when you look at this Titans team and what they did in week one, they didn't play up to anybody's expectations. But when they come out this week, they're going to try to right some of those wrongs that they had. And we know how well Russell Wilson and Seattle starts their season out every year. Mm -hmm. They're going to be a team. They're going to come out, and they're going to do some of the same things they did last year. Well, Tennessee is going to play much better than they did. So it's going to be a back-and-forth battle, up and down. And I think, ultimately... The Tennessee Titans are going to win that game. Okay, I like yeah. it. They're going to oh, bounce wow. back. They have too much talent to on guys. that team not to get the job done. Oh, I think Jamal Adams is and I made my yeah, prediction. Yeah. Games in Seattle. Yeah. Of the year. That is a really good answer, and yet I think I have the best answer because mine is the soonest. I'm going to go right here mm. tomorrow night, the football team versus the Giants. Anthony Mann. Who are these quarterbacks? I don't know. Daniel Jones. I don't think he's going to give us a soundbite like Derek Carr. Maybe Heineke will. I, this one could get absolutely wild. New quarterback on a short week. Daniel Jones coming off a bad loss on a short week. And this is what this is really creeps me out. I hate even saying that out loud. Yeah. One of these teams is going to be 0-2. I hate that. Like, 0-2. What the hell happened? Crap, you fell out of the gates. The Washington football team versus the New York Giants football team. I, tomorrow night, let's go.